Hi my crafties, it's Tree. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good and crafty day. Um, I'm going to move these out of the way. And um, I've been hearing a lot of you guys say that you're having a hard time making envelopes. Whether you use the memory punch boards or not. So um, I'm going to attempt in my limited space here to do a tutorial on um, a way to make envelopes without using the memory keeper we are memory keepers score board so um what you need to do is take your card and measure it so you do need a ruler and something to score with um some glue and a pair of scissors and possibly even a bone folder okay <laughs> the irony of using that we are memory keepers scoring tool um i have misplaced mine <laughs> i have one of those teflon ones that i really love but it it has fallen from my surface and i don't know where it is so anyway you're gonna measure your card from the widest point and that says six inches okay so you're gonna add two inches to both sides so six plus two is eight and that gives me an eight by eight square, which is what I have here. Now, my card is a wonky. So what I did was I cut, for this video, I normally wouldn't do this, um, I cut an, what size, did I, I made this a little bit bigger than, so it's four and a half by, I think it's six and a quarter, almost six and a quarter. Um, to give me some wiggle room and you can see that almost gets me to the edge and all I'm gonna do you could put this in your scoreboard or whatever but you know what why you already have a little template and even if you don't you could just I'll show you with another card so I'm just gonna take my scoring tool and I'm gonna score here and along here, I chose foam because I figured it was at least a little thicker and I wouldn't um, go off in some weird direction. Okay, so you can kind of see I've got some score lines there. Okay, so we're going to fold that over. And I'm not even going to use the scoring tool. The This one's not very... there we go. And here, remember it's handmade and not Hallmark or store-bought. So, any of you bought from store. Sometimes those are a little wonky too. Alright, so scissors are put on this side. You, you're gonna need to cut away these corners. Am I on the screen? I am. So. And you can see I'm not, I wasn't exactly center. This one's a little bit smaller than the last one. But it is okay. It's a car. It's actually an envelope. I mean, really, they're gonna rip into it and it's gonna go in the trash. <laughs> Unless you're really talented and you make a very fancy envelope. I used to do this when um, uh, using magazine papers. I would, especially the Disney sheets, oh my gosh. Um, you can see I'm a little wonky. So what I like to do is take and find a good spot right here and take my scoring tool. And just go like that. Not really hard or anything. You can see the line is there. And then I just cut that across. Even though we are a punch board, I still cut that off. I don't like the way it went in a little bit. All right. <laughs> I'm very off. I'm sorry. This is a bad tutorial. Um, it's okay. It's, we're we're going to go with this. And I will still mail this card out. I'm going to go to my sister. 
I should have already nailed it over already. So we're putting a little bit of glue there. And over here. And I'm going to cap that. And then you'll see that the card, if I did things the way I should, goes right in and it closes and it looks cute. You can decorate it and address it and everything. So I'm going to show you again. I have um, the glitter paper. And this is a 3x3 three three card. It's a little bit thicked up. So, again, this one is not wonky in size or anything. So another way you can do this is just to lift the edges and fold it over. And I can see clearly that I'm not straight. Not sure why. What am I doing wrong, guys? Tell me. There we go. We're getting more corner center. All right. There we go. So you can do it just like that. And then I would open it up and then do it like that. And then the top. Okay. So now that shows me barely, but I can see the corners that need to go away. I used to write a lot of letters in my day. I used to stay in touch with people really well. Not so much anymore. I'm not sure why. And really, it's... Oh, the advances today, you can and should be able to stay in touch with people a whole lot better. So, okay. Alright, so, figure out which two sides I want to fold in. There we go. I'm gonna make it look like that. Um, this one I am gonna give it a little bit of crease. Straighten this one up. And then I'm going to trim that off. And then all I have to do is add some glue. I don't have to cut that tip off because it's not in the way. So when it's like this, and there's a lot of overlap, I'll put the glue on the outside, the edge there, and then I'll put the glue on the outer edge of this flap. And then I'll press it down like that. All right, so that's it. That's how you make envelopes without needing an envelope board. The longest length, two inches, and square it. Okay? So this will go in. Ah, the glue is not sticking. It's because it's the glitter paper, so it just needs a little more extra time. So I'm going to take that out, and I'll put this under something heavy, and it'll glue fine. All right, so um, remember the longest width, the longest length, plus two inches, square it, and then score and cut off the corners, and you'll be fine. All right, that's it for now. Until my next video, um, God bless you and yours. Bye for now.